Hi, this is Drew with NAC Training, bringing you another Everyday Office video. Today, we're going to be working with Copilot in Excel. We'll start by looking at pivot tables and charts. First, you'll want to locate the Copilot button in the upper right-hand corner of the Home ribbon. We have some sales data here, and we're going to ask Copilot to show the total purchase price for each product ID. Click Enter, and Copilot will begin to load your response. A preview of your pivot chart will be generated, and you can select the Add to New Sheet button for the full pivot table and chart to be added to your workbook. Now we'll look at a different example using sales data. Here I'm having Copilot show me the total reporting amounts for each subsidiary ID. Copilot will show a preview of the pivot chart and you can select to add it to a new sheet in your workbook. Next, we'll look at having Copilot write formulas and insert that into a new column of our worksheet. I'll start by typing in the prompt to add a column that calculates the number of days from the effective date to the entry date and press send. Once Copilot loads, it will display a preview of the formula and let you select to add that to a new column. You can also click on the Explain Formula dropdown and read about why this is the formula that was chosen. Now we'll have Copilot generate a column that gives us the total purchase price per unit. Once you click Enter, Copilot will load your response, display a preview of your formula, and allow you to insert that into your sheet. Now we'll look at using Copilot to sort and filter the data in your table. I'll begin by typing in a prompt to filter to all the items that were purchased last week. Once Copilot loads, your table will be automatically filtered and you can see all of the items that were purchased in the past week. We can also have Copilot format the data so that we can sort our table more effectively. I'm going to start by typing in the prompt, bold the top 10 values in the reporting amount column. Copilot will take some time to load and then make the changes in your table. I also want these top 10 amounts to be highlighted. So in the prompt box, I will type highlight the top 10 values in the reporting amount column. Now in my table dropdown under the reporting amount column, I can sort by the yellow highlighted color. We can also achieve something similar in another set of data. I will prompt Copilot to sort the data from largest to smallest. After it's finished loading, the total purchase price column is now sorted from largest to smallest. Like and follow along for more videos like this from Everyday Office.